Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now this one is called the best house plants. Now we're going to be looking at some plants that are very, very useful for your home. Now as part of the Play for Trees event, we did something very nice indeed. And now heyday is going to be buying enough carbon credits to actually support a project down in Lake Cariba. But I wanted to look at uh, something that's a little bit closer to home. And house plants is definitely one of those features that we can actually add to our homes very, very easily because they're useful. Now, everyone wants clean air, okay? But I'm afraid air purifiers are very, very expensive. So why not invest in houseplants? They are inexpensive, they are very nice indeed, and they also jazz up your home. But one of the key things about houseplants is that they really do help to clean the air up. They remove a lot of toxins from the air, and in many ways, that's a win-win. Now, how much do they remove, I wonder? Well, some interesting information on the internet. It says that they can remove up to 80% of air toxins in 24 hours. Holy smoke, that's a lot. They also help you to improve concentration and productivity up to 15%, reduces your stress levels, and boosts your mood. So that's a very nice win-win situation. Now, it seems that NASA has been out there and researching all of these plants. And that's where I've got a lot of my information from, from different posts around the world that talk about NASA's recommendation. So let's start looking at some of those plants. Well, the first one is the Aloe Vera, a beautiful plant, great for placing on the windowsill, and it's really good for purifying the air. I like these ones. Just watch out if you touch them. Another one that is good is the Broad Lady Palm. Now this one is ideally placed in the bathroom and it does help to reduce the levels of ammonia, which is great for those cleaning products. Another one is the Acressa Palm. This best placement for this one is the living room and it says that it takes in the carbon dioxide and releases oxygen, which is perfect if you want to breathe a little bit better. Another one out there which I had as a child is the spider plant. Bedroom and living room and the other good thing about it, it's non-toxic to your animals. If you've got pets, it's great to have one of these. Another one which is very nice indeed is the weeping fig. I like this one. Sits in the living room and it's a good air purifier indeed. So well worth getting. Next one on my list is the snake plant. Now I like this one a lot. I really, really do. Best placement is the bedroom and it's fantastic for nighttime oxygen production. You can sleep more peacefully with one of these. Next one is the chrysanthemum. I love these flowers. They are beautiful. Kitchen or living room and they do filter out the toxins and they look gorgeous. So why not get loads of those? Next one is the rubber plant. Now this one is fantastic. It improves air quality. It's probably one of the best ones out there. You can place it in the living room or the bedroom and I'd actually recommend getting these because they are really good. The Chinese evergreen is also another good one. Best place in is the living room and this one actually emits a high oxygen content. So a Definitely good plant to get for the house. Next one is named after the wife, the dragon tree. That's right, everybody. Best placement is the living room in front of the TV. Fights pollutants. <laughs> I like that one. I'm so bad. Right, a good one to have indeed. Then there is the Gerbera Daisy. Oh, I can't get that one right. Best placement is in the bedroom. High levels of oxygen at night and removes chemicals, which is perfect as well. And the last one, because we all need it, is the money plant. Now, I'm sorry, you're not going to get any money. But any room in the house is good. And this one removes chemical pollutants from the air. Right, I hope you enjoyed that one. There are some of the plants that are actually off the NASA's recommendation list. I really enjoyed reading about it. And there are a lot of very, very good websites out there that can give you a lot more information about the best house plants. Some of them are easy to raise. Some of them need a little bit more loving care. Some of them have a little bit more need in relation to light and location placement. But go and check them out uh, and maybe buy a few extra plants as we move into 2021. Now, hey day, I enjoyed the Play for Trees event, as did everybody else. Uh, I look forward to seeing your posts next year on how you are progressing this project. Everybody, make sure you do buy yourself some plants, as I said, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Take care, have fun, and good planting now. Bye!